Hello and welcome to another video about the Lightroom Plugins Duplicate Finder. Now this one today isn't so much about how to find or delete duplicates, that's already been covered. This is about a new feature which is an attempt to work around and fix some types of catalogue damage. One of the questions we get fairly frequently is from people who have tried the plugin and when they run the search for duplicates it throws an error. Now it used to throw an error, it doesn't anymore. And the error was something fairly cryptic but basically saying that something couldn't be accessed and this is usually a sign of catalogue damage. Now a lot of people understandably don't want to hear they've got a damaged catalogue but this is the kind of thing which just slowly happens over time. You hope it doesn't but in practice it does. The reason that the duplicate finder throws this kind of damage up so often is because of course it's searching your entire catalogue beginning to end and that is exactly the kind of thing which will root out these hidden problems. Normally they're the kind of thing that you only see if you actually access a damaged record from within Lightroom and the chances of you clicking on one very specific damaged record out of maybe tens of thousands is fairly slim. So to try and first of all head off this problem and secondly to help people fix these problems because they can be fixed in many cases there is a new feature in a duplicate finder and that is to scan and identify damaged records and that's what I'd like to go through today. So what we have here is a copy of my catalogue except at the top there you can see LR6 damaged catalogue. This is actually Lightroom CC it's running in it's just an old copy. Now what I've done here is manually cause some damage to this catalogue in exactly the same kind of way that damage can slowly build up just accidentally. It happens, it's unfortunate, but it does. And what I'm going to do is go to Library, Plugin Extras, and you can see down the bottom here that we have a new entry, Check for Catalogue Damage. Now I'm going to use this one. In fact, if you just do a duplicate scan, it will actually perform the catalog damage check if it finds it needs to. But just to keep things quicker, we're going to do this and it's saying scanning for damage. Not entirely sure how long it's going to take, but in practice, it's pretty quick. This catalog has 40 something thousand photos in it. And I know for a fact there is one damaged photo. So what this is doing behind the scenes is basically checking them all one by one but in an intelligent way where it doesn't have to check them all one by one so it's not as slow as you might expect. Once it finds a damaged record or more than one it will mark it as damaged and separate it off into a collection which this will create and you can see that it's there, corrupt catalogue records. So far it hasn't found any at all. Once you know which ones they are, the fix is simply to just remove those records and re-import them. So here we go, catalogue damage detected. Well, yes, I know I damaged it, but let's see. The scan found one damaged photo which was added to the corrupt catalogue records collection. Check, one. Please remove these from your catalogue, re-import them and try again. And they're also sent out to a log file so you can come back to it if you need to. So I'm going to say OK there. We've automatically been taken to this record. And what you can see straight away is there is no thumbnail. And there's no thumbnail because Lightroom can't actually access the record to find out what it's supposed to be a thumbnail of. And if we click on that to show the details, we come over here and open. It's spinning. It's just sitting there saying metadata is being loaded. This isn't a problem with the photo. It's a problem with the catalogue. Because of the particular kind of damage in this case, it can't detect even what the photo is. In other cases, you may find that part of this data is OK and part of it isn't. In either case, there is a problem and you need to find it and remove it. So if we can't see what it is, how do we identify it? Well, the first thing to try is go to folder in library 
and that's also failing because in this case it doesn't know what that photo is anymore. One more check we can do on this is to see exactly where it is. So right click, show an explorer. This is on Windows but you can do the same thing on Mac and bang. There's the error message that you may recognize if you have had a damaged catalog and you've tried to use the duplicate finder. This is nothing to do with the duplicate finder. This is a Lightroom internal error message. So let's get rid of that. So the next trick to try, and I'm deliberately going through things which in my case don't work because in some cases they will work. The next trick to try is to reject this photo. We can't see any information about it. We can't see where it lives on disk. So let's reject it and try that. So if we try and remove rejected photos while we're looking at a collection, Lightroom will just try and remove it from the collection, which is something that doesn't help. So we simply go to all photographs. That's already filtered on rejected. This is the photo we're interested in. You'll note it doesn't have any information around the side of the frame. So I'm going to remove all rejected photos. Photo, remove photo from catalog. Uh, let's select that one first. Remove photo from catalog. And again, Lightroom does nothing because it is completely unable to access this record. Photo, delete rejected photos. Yes, I would like you to remove them. And again, we're back to that error. So this photo is being reluctant to be removed. However, at the very least, we know which one it is. And that lets us use the final option, which is going to work, which is to select all photographs and to select everything that is not rejected and export as catalog. What this will do is create a copy of this catalog containing all of the same information that is in this catalog, but it will not contain the damaged record. So this is the last option. So let's put it there. Let's create a new folder and test valid. Don't export negative files, I want to do this quickly and save. This may take some time, I shall pause. Okay, we're back. In the end it took about 30 seconds, not long at all, because it's not copied all the photos, it's just copied the catalogue, but hopefully without that damaged record. So let's try it. Let's open this one. There goes Lightroom. There goes the catalog. It has all of the same photos. It's got the contents of the quick collection. Uh, not really, but let's go ahead and do it. It's got the labels. It's got all of the previous information. Now, let's try that again. Check for catalog damage. It's created this collection just in case. Hopefully, this time it will find nothing. And then what you need to do is just resynchronize your top level collection, which may take a little while, but it will identify whatever that photo was and re-add it to the catalog and you're good to go. So it takes a little bit of time to do, but it's not time that you need to be hands on. Right, and it's done. No catalog damage detected. All that remains to do is click OK on there and find that photo again. Now in this case I know roughly where it was because I damaged the record myself. In practice what you would need to do is just select the top level and then synchronize folder. Leave it to it. Job done. In this case I'm just going to drill down to where I know it was which is in there and I'm going to synchronize that folder and import new photos one. Yes we are done. Don't remove any. There shouldn't be any. Synchronize.
name will address look up oh yes this is a new catalogue so all of these questions come back yes and there it is the photo itself no problem at all all of the information over here yep that's all intact that's all correct the only problem was with the actual catalog and that is now fixed you can take this copy of the catalog once you've closed Lightroom down and simply copy this back over the original one and you're good to go so I hope this has helped I have deliberately covered some things which may sometimes work but in this case didn't but you can see that within a few minutes with the help of the plugin to identify the damaged records you can get back to a fully functioning catalogue with no information lost. Thanks very much for your attention.